Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about how to get married in Germany. All you're gonna do is to follow the first step. The first steps are your fiancé or fiancé in Germany must go to Standesam and tell to Standesam that you want to marry a foreigner, example, a Filipinian Frau here in Germany. Then, your fiancé or fiancé must ask the requirements of marriage in Germany for a foreigner, example, a Filipinian Frau here in Germany. Next, your fiancé or your fiancé in Germany will receive from Standesamt the checklist and examination of Philippine documents. The second steps, your fiancé in Germany must send the checklist and examination of Philippine documents to you in the Philippines. The examination of your fiancé or fiancé document. When your fiancé or fiancé in Philippines receive the papers from your German fiancé or fiancé in Germany, and here we go. Like for an example, I received the documents of my sweetheart from Germany, and your fiancé or fiancé in Philippines must gathered all the requirements needed of the standis amp as possible. Here are the requirements that needed to be followed with. First is the check listed that needed of the standis amp and the German embassy. All you gonna do is to follow and gather all documents that needed. Number one, proxy. And Meldung zur Eheschließung with a signature from you and the date with a stamp from German Embassy in Manila. You means that the fiancé or fiancé in Philippines. And here are my example of my proxy that came from the standis amp and given by my fiancé. So this is just only the example of my proxy on how it looks. Second, copy from your passport with stamps and signature from German Embassy. I will show you also the example of my passport with a stamp from German Embassy and that is how it looks. The, you can see that there it has a stamp. Number three, original birth certificate from you. Number three, original birth certificate. Pets A valid for 6 months and number 4 handwritten landmark sketch from now with a date and signature. You can get this from Standard. And this is the example of the sketch. All you're gonna do is to draw your permanent address so that it's easy to find when German Embassy trying to find your location. Number 5. From your school in original form 137, only elementary school school records from grade 1 until you graduated from elementary school. Declarations of Residence What is Declaration of Residence? And here it is. This is the example of the Declarations of Residence. All you're gonna do is to write it down your address wherein you live before and now number seven consent and authorization does it mean that you're giving the authority and consent to those person who are trying to examine your document and here is the example of the consent and authority all you're gonna do is to sign up with your signature over printed name no authenticated required number eight a new single certificate from you that you have not a husband or wife in Philippines. Only PSA in Manila with stamp and signature from the office in Manila. Number 9. Two passport picture from your mother. Two pieces of passport picture only. 
Number 10. Two passport pictures from your father. Two pieces of passport picture only from your father. Number 11. Two passport picture from you. Only two pieces of passport picture of yourself. Number 12. One picture from you, 13 by 18 centimeter, a complete body picture from you, whole body with a formal dress. Number 13, the marriage certificate of your parents from marriage contract, only from the PSA in Manila with stamp and signature from the office. So only for six months valid. And the third steps are are examination of Philippine documents. So, ito yung mag CCI and magba background information. So, here are the following certificate and the supporting document are required for the examination of documents and should be prepared in this exact order. Should all papers have complete and it must be exact in order. Number one birth certificate PSA valid for six months number two single certificate and PSA index certificate of no marriage for person other than 18 years old which is we are talking about CINOMAR please note the PSA indices certificate is an except from the national indices of marriages for the single persons in NSO issues a CINEMAR, that it means that certificate of no marriage, certificate of singleness. If the person is was married, the submission is a CIMAR, certificate of marriage. Number three, two passport size picture and one whole body picture, 13 by 18 centimeter of the owner of the document to be examined, which is, is you as an applicant. Number four, consent to the checking of the document by the document's holder. This is available as a PDF file on the website of the German Embassy. And also you can also print this if you find this website. And these are the example of my consent and authorization. You can print this as a PDF file. Number five, declaration. In English language, signed by the holder of the document stating the complete addresses of residents in the Philippines from age 15, that is for the minor since birth. Dated declaration regarding the addresses is absolutely required, including the streets and house number as well as where available. The nearest landmark where possible sketch is to be submitted. And here are the example of the declarations of residence. All you're gonna do is to write your address or addresses over there where you are stayed before and now. And don't forget also to sign up. Number six, if a previous marriage existed, then the marriage certificate must also be submitted as well as proof that that previous marriage was dissolved. The court order and certificate of finality concerning the dissolution of the previous marriage duly authenticated by the Philippine Department of Foreign Affairs or death certificate. And this is for those who are annulled in Philippines, divorced outside of the country, or death certificate of the wife or husband. So only for submission. Number seven birth certificates of birth certificate of children if you have a children and if you have no children then you cannot provide the birth certificate and if you have a children kindly pass PSA valid for six months number eight baptismal certificate this is only for those a person who have a religion and you must submit your baptismal certificate number nine elementary school record Elementary school record form 137 from grade 1 until you graduated in elementary school. Number 10. 
marriage certificate of your parents only p is a valid for six months if the parents is not married you can pass their birth certificate and cinema or singleness certificate stands for PSA valid for six months both parents and if your parents is die you can pass their birth certificate stands for PSA valid for six months also both parents if your parents is already die number 11 two passport size picture of the parents if still alive or death certificate if the parents is die valid for six months one copy only number 12 birth certificates of the siblings if there are any siblings in this case the birth certificate issued by the local silver registrar are sufficient but i recommend you to pass the psa valid for six months important notice each document is to be handed in as original with two photocopies meaning you need to have one original copy and two photocopies or xerox let's jump up with the documents documents only documents regarding the civil status that were issued by the psa or philippine statistic authority in manila are acceptable unauthenticated of said document by the local civil registry office is not sufficient unauthenticated of documents regarding the civil status by the philippine department of foreign affairs is not required procedure The embassy cannot conduct the examination with its own personnel, but must be supported by the trusted lawyer, other trusted person, as well as specialized information agencies. The final evaluation and report is executed by the consular officer of the embassy. Processing time. A processing time of four months. In a few cases, our six months must be expected or more. The embassy will confirm the receipt of the official request of the examination and in the case that the increased amount of time is required under special circumstances, issue an according in term notification. Expenses The outlay for the examination are 11,000 pesos or about 250 euro plus the expenses of the courier and the postage amounting to 10 euro depending on the current exchange rate. For the forwarding of the documents and reports to the authority in Germany that has requested the examination. Background The German embassy in Manila found out that the requirements of the legalization of official documents such as birth certificate, marriage certificate, death certificate, court decision, and affidavit are not given to the Philippines until further noticed. Therefore, the embassy suspended the legalization in 2001. It is, however, possible to conduct an examination of document if a German authority, also consular and diplomatic offices of the Federal Republic of Germany, consider this necessary for its work in Germany. The German authority can then officially request for assistance from German embassy. Therefore, the German authority must attach the original documents. So, good luck, guys, and thanks for watching. If if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more of that. See you for my next vlog and if you have any concern, kindly comment down below and I will look back with your concerns. See you!